so in this video we will understand uh, what components are uh, and also try to understand how the project structure how our project structure will be and how to create components in uh, angular so let's try to understand our project structure first so our um, our application basically has two tabs right one for uh, employee and one for department so we can have we have two different pages one one for employee one for department we can consider these pages as separate components so we can create a separate folder uh, one folder can be called as employee and another folder for department we can also call them as components so basically we have two main components okay two two comp one component for employee one component for department and inside employee we have uh, a component which is responsible to show the employee details okay we can consider that also as another uh, component so inside the folder structure employee there is another subfolder which is show employees so what else our employee page can do uh, it has the option to edit the employee details as well so we can have that one as a separate component as well and also finally it has um, a functionality to, to add new employee so right so that is how the structure of employee component will be so inside employee component we have three different components show employee edit employee and add new employee similar implementation for department we have uh, show we inside department component we have show department edit department as well as add new department so it's not necessary to have so many components so basically you can have just the root component i mean the main component and inside the main component you can implement all the functionalities it's not necessary to have so many components but just to understand the pro you know uh, the project structure to you know make it simple to keep it simple uh, we are creating so many components so let's assume uh, tomorrow you want to uh, see the implementation of how the how uh, we can add new employee or um, we want to change the existing logic of add new employee you can straight away go inside the folder of employee and inside the subfolder add new employee you can straight away see the implementations and you can change the you know, logic or if you want to review the logic you can easily uh, get into the component and change the logic so that is what components are <clears throat> and uh, i think it makes the development pro process more simpler and uh, uh, fast so let's try to generate the components so how many components we have uh, uh, we have two main components employee and department so there's always one component above employee and department is the parent component which is also called as the app so this is the default parent component so inside this parent component we have we should create two components which is employee and department inside employee component we have uh, show employees edit employee add employee and inside department show employee department edit employee department and add new department so let's try to you know create those components so to create to create a component you have to type uh, ng generate and uh, let's create the employee component first so ng generate employee so on click of this uh, on you uh, know uh, after executing this command a, a folder will be created inside the app folder i think this is not the correct command it should be ng generate component employee so I forgot to add the component keyword so you have to write ng generate component employee so that is done so if you 
observe inside our app component which is the main uh, component we have something called employee um, and inside employee we want show employee component um, edit employee and add new employee so we'll add that so we'll copy the same one so inside employee folder we should have the first one as show employee okay so if we can observe inside employee we have show employee similarly let's have the edit employee and also let's have add employee also let us uh, add the components for our department page as well so ng generate instead of employee this time it's department and then inside department we have show department then edit department and finally add department so that is it now we have the project structure ready we can work on it so as I already mentioned it is not mandatory to have so many components just for the sake of understanding and to keep it to keep things simple we have created these many components okay so department we have three components add department edit department show department so we, have, so we add the logic of adding the new department in this particular folder or component and we add the logic of editing a particular employee or department in this particular folder and all the logic to display all the department details will be in this particular show department component